Hey, this is a series where you'll learn everything you need to know about the Roblox game A Bizarre Day. From origin history to combos and matchups, we have everything here on this mini-series. Welcome to HTUC, otherwise known as How to Use and Counter. This stand won the poll on my Discord server by a huge amount because the people in my Discord server were harassing other users to vote for it. Please, pl please don't do that again. You'll probably be banned. This time, we'll be going over SPTW, otherwise known as Star Platinum The World. I would really appreciate any sort of constructive criticism or improvements I can make in these types of videos in the future. This is a beginner's guide or a refresh guide to pros for how to use and counter Star Platinum The World. You will not become a pro instantly after watching this. It takes practice. All info came from the ABD wiki for combo inspiration, participating in 1v1s, spectating 1v1s, the ABD discord, and the Jojo's Bizarre Adventure fandom wiki. Also please keep in mind, I am a samurai man. Wait a minute, I haven't used Samurai seriously for like a month because of this series. So what do I main now? Hmm... What's an easy stand to win with, but nobody complains about it because no one actually uses it? Oh, I know. Magician's Red. Okay everyone, I main Avdol now. Star Platinum is a stand that first appears in Chapter 114 of the manga and debuts in the first episode of the anime in Stardust Crusaders, or the 27th episode of the whole anime. The stand that we are going over today, however, is based off of the Star Platinum in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Diamond is Unbreakable. Star Platinum is a stand used by the user Jotaro Kujo. Star Platinum awakens the ability to stop time for 5 seconds during Jotaro's final battle with Dio. Over time in Diamond is Unbreakable, he's only able to stop time for around half a second, but later improves it to 2 seconds as the series goes. Of course, Star Platinum the World Time Stop would be useless in a bizarre day if it was only 2 seconds long, so the developers made it 5 seconds in the game. Star Platinum is a very powerful stand with a lot of speed, power, and precision, but has very little range. To obtain Star Platinum the World, you must use a stand arrow with a 2% chance of obtaining it. Stand arrows spawn every minute and will despawn on the map after 15 minutes. They will not despawn if the arrow is already in your inventory. This stand has many strengths and weaknesses. Let's just go over a few basic ones. Now some strengths would include good damage, fast movement options with low cooldowns, good combos but they are simple, strong projectile with a low cooldown, and now some weaknesses would include low health when not blocking, can get very predictable after a bit of time. Not very many combos, relies on the same ones basically the whole fight. Now I wouldn't really say this stand has a lot of combos, but I will say that this stand heavily relies on using certain move combinations over and over the whole time, and doesn't really do anything besides those one or two move combinations. <coughs> R plus V. The stand mostly depends on your skill but I will still go over a couple of things that you can do during your 1v1s. I already said this earlier, but a lot of Star Platinum The World users will constantly use this combo because it does good damage, V makes you move very quickly so R hits as a surprise, and you can use it whenever R is not on cooldown, and it has a very low cooldown. The main way people will try to dodge this is by rolling left or right, or doing C plus space over. Keep in mind that the T at the end is completely optional. Honestly, you should never use this, unless you are using it as a finisher when your opponent is at really low HP. Mostly because any stand can ragdoll you, or Shadow of the World can just use B. You really shouldn't do this except as a mix-up or a quick finisher when your opponent is at low HP. In this 1v1 situation, I am facing a The World alternate universe. The stand has a lot of projectiles, and could easily zone me out if I'm not careful. Due to this, I stand up so that I am just in range to do R plus V. I do R plus B, now instead of being zoned out by projectiles from their stand, I'm in a heavy, heavy advantage state. This stand can be difficult to counter due to its speed from V and how it can catch you off guard at many times. Here are just a few basic tips that may help you counter this stand. Block when necessary, the stand's damage is pretty pitiful if even a stand with just A tier durability blocks. Heck, I survived with Anubis while blocking during their time stop. You can block when they do R plus V and try to punish after they hit your block. Try to predict R plus Vs by rolling when you can. It can be quite difficult to predict though because all the Star Platinum the world has to do is change up their timing a little bit and it's even more difficult to predict when they will use it. 
Stun attacks like Return to Zero, The Hand's F, Magician's Red Bind, and Tusk Act 4's Glide absolutely demolish this stand. Just be prepared to be called a trash player and insulted after using them. I mean, they are kind of broken, not, not going to lie. Using projectiles at the start of the match can be useful, but not during the middle of the match. If they see you are spamming them in the middle of the match and you are in close enough range, you already know they are going for the time stop dash or V. I will now go over a bad habit that many new users to Star Platinum the World do when they first get the stand so that you don't make those same mistakes. Time Stop Dash is a very important tool to your moveset. Not understanding the distance it sends you can be very fatal as you can see in this clip. I recommend practicing and measuring out how far it sends you to get a feel for how far it sends so that something like this doesn't happen to you. I will now analyze matchups against popular stands in standard 1v1 rules and see how they play out, meaning no time stop and beatdowns blah blah blah, and how to have a better chance at winning the matchups mentioned. This stand will absolutely overwhelm you in close range if you don't use something like V to speed yourself up and make your move hit first. A barrage battle will always end with you losing, even if they are at orange HP. Never get into a barrage battle, it will be deadly. Most the world over heavens act very passive and will spam knives from far away. You can easily dodge these knives by rolling or using time stop dash. Keep in mind that these stand users are not completely brain dead and will try to predict your roller dash by throwing the knife slightly off course. This stand is extremely slow and it will be very easy to land R plus V. The only thing they can do is try to predict it and C plus space or block. Just try not to get hit by their R or T and you should be fine for the most part as those moves alongside knives are the only real threat to you. Also if you allow healing for some reason in competitive 1v1s then um just try to keep hitting them faster and more than they can heal themselves, you should be able to out damage your heal. This stand is ridiculously difficult to beat with Star Platinum the World. If you do manage to beat an Act 4 with Star Platinum the World, I applaud you because it's not easy. Pretty much all Tusk Act 4s will rush in with Glide or Z due to its speed, accuracy, how long it lasts, and that it stuns for around 1.2 to 2 seconds and can stun multiple times and the stun stacks. Basically all a tusk needs to do is Z plus Y plus E and it's pretty much game over for you. You can try to use C, V or stand jump to try to dodge it or block when you see them glide. You lose the ability to use any stand skills once you are hit with Y but if you are already blocking getting hit by Y will still allow you to continue blocking which then allows you to survive the barrage. If you are at full HP. Basically, do your best and don't get too upset if you lose. This matchup is disadvantageous for you. This stand is very, very dangerous in close range. And even if you land a hit on it with R plus V or something, it can heal most of it back. When the Gold Experience Requiem uses a return to zero, make sure to stand jump away when you see the animation or block. Blocking will allow you to survive if you are at full HP. Also be very very wary of their projectiles, they are slow but deadly. Plus, they are also spammable. The stand is relatively easy to beat if you survive return to zero since R plus V works so well against Gold Experience Requiem. If it wasn't obvious enough, do not contest your barrage with Gold Experience Requiem. You will probably die because their barrage slows you down and deals like 5 times more damage than your own barrage. Play smart and do your best and you will have a pretty good chance at winning. Note, many of these matchups heavily depend on whether the Star Platinum the world user is very experienced and skilled or not. They can also be false if the opponent knows what they're doing. Make sure to adapt to how your opponent plays and choose your best options from their service. So how do they move? Do they dash or roll for me? What about counters and stand jumps? As I said before, this is a beginner's guide for how to use encounter Star Platinum the world. To find out more, you should do research yourself and do 1v1s. The ABD community is usually nice enough to do 1v1s and help you in their Discord server about stand strategies. Be sure to give me suggestions in the comments or on my Discord server, more importantly, for the next how to use encounter. Have a nice day, and goodbye.